Well, here we are with another Sunday sermon. Uh, I guess I'll be like the, the priesthood now. <laughs> I'll uh, have a little uh, red uh, red uh, wine or grape. Uh, I guess, you know, what's this? This is a uh, pomegranate, grape, strawberry. I don't really like to put strawberry. So. Uh, tart, cherry, fig, mulberries, cranberry. So... This is like, you know, if you was in a Catholic situation, you know, and they're giving you communion and they, well, any situation, they give you the wine. There you are. Except that this is Super Fruit 7, 100% juice, not from concentrate. So uh, this is a Saturday sermon, Saturday sermon, what's what, Sunday sermon. As you may or may not know, um, on Sunday sermons, happy Sunday that I'm available. I'll be moving. I'm, I'm be traveling around, so I don't know how this is going to work. Cause I, I mean, I use this is the book we um uh, we get our scripture from, and I have copies in South Africa. I have a copy here, and I don't want to carry the book back to South Africa, so I might be missing a Sunday only because then I can I can fake now with that. Anyway, uh, anyway, this is the book we read from. This is this is this is our scripture. You know, some people have. The Holy Quran, so we have the Holy Bible, some people have the Torah and, the, and whatever, you know, the, the, the Hindu texts and the you know, out of Sanskrit, you know, people do a bunch of stuff. You know, I don't know what the Baha'is do, but stuff like that, you know. And then you have the oral tales, you know, like you know, a, lot, a lot of, whatever. The scripture we use comes from, from this book, the United Independent Compensatory Cold System Constant Book. It's, 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 a, it's a, uh, a compensatory uh, counter-racist code. Now, this happens to be the, the 2016 edition that Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. put out. But the original um, um, the original book is 1984 edition. Uh, well, that's the original thing. This is the 16th This is the, the revised the revised and expanded edition. And it, and as it says on the cover, it's it's actually a, a a textbook workbook. So it's not just I mean the scripture. That's, that's what scripture is. Scripture is not a textbook workbook, right? No. Uh, for thought, speech, and or action. First you have the thought, then you may talk it out, spread, you know, whatever, and then you leap into action. For victims, see now here's a, here's a caveat. If you don't think you're a victim of racism, which is white supremacy, then, well, this is not the book for you. This is not the scripture for you. This is not the service you should be going to on, <laughs> on Sunday sermons, okay? Anyway, so th there um. Oh, let, let me, uh, he starts his book out, um, it's not the title page, this is, a, well, this is the title page here, but the next page here, unto itself, just like that, it said, it says, uh, if you do not understand white supremacy, then you got in practice, which is racism, right? What it is and how it works, right? Everything else that you understand will only confuse you. Okay, that's Mr. Neely Fuller. He wrote those words in 1971. Hey, that's when I started writing, writing actually, really, well, writing poetry, at least. Here we go. Oh, put my glasses on so I can read it. Oh, oh, um, I'm sorry. I'll go back again. And in this book, um, which you can get from from uh, from his producejustice.com a website, you know, that's where you can order the book from. And I was, you should have it anyway. This is, it's a reference book, you know? It's a reference book. Anyway, there are nine areas of activity, and they are listed in alphabetical order. There's uh, economics, education, entertainment, labor, law, politics, right? Religion, sex, and war slash counter war. Um, I think we're going to go with sex. Oh, oh, why are we in sex? Oh, so we're going to go to sex, sex section, page uh, uh, 312. And the, and the way it's broken up, you know, you have these um, these um, bold, bold things that have the question, then you have the answers like that. So we're just going to do a small section. Okay, I don't like to do this. This is, I know it's a Sunday sermon, and suppose we, we can go for a long time because it's Sunday, the sermon. I can go 45 minutes, something like that. But no, 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 no. They're going to go for us. do this one section here. And the question asked is, um, 
What are the six major reasons for not starting or continuing in intimate male-female uh, mateship or marital arrangements? Uh-oh. What are the six major reasons for not starting or continuing? Whoa, nip this in the bud. This is interesting. So he's, he's I mean, it's nearly full of juniors. It's the same. There are six major. I guess there's some minus there, too. One. The answer. Now, the question again is, what are the six major reasons for not starting or continuing an intimate uh, male-female, male-with-female mateship or marital arrangement? It's just come from the male point of view, okay? It's not the female point of view here. One, willful or deliberate sexual intercourse and or sexual play with a white person during the existence of white supremacy racism. Ooh, that's a big one. I tell you what, let's go... Let's let's let us let us let us end on that one. Let me keep on going through these things because there's some things that has to be said better because I don't think people understand that. Hold on a second. More communion stuff. Um, number two. Not being willing to tell each other everything, including all, uh, uh, um, including all of each other's thoughts, desires, likes, dislikes, and every detail of everything that each person has ever done, ever been involved in, etc. So I guess if you commit under Mr. Neely Fuller Jr.'s uh, the compen or the compensatory code, code, if you commit, you commit. <laughs> I mean, it's like, you know, my favorite philosopher, you know, uh, um, who, who's, uh, uh, who, who said this uh, in a song, you know, everything is everything. Okay? Number three, Production or promotion of sexual disease. Okay, if this is a reason for not or not continuing. Uh, germs. In other words, somebody give you a disease because I guess they went raw or whatever it is and then you protect whatever. Well, but that goes into if you knew everything about everybody, then they then, then you wouldn't be in a position where you can bring if the people if you two were inseparable, then the then the disease couldn't penetrate your inseparableness, I guess. Uh Four. This is reasons for not. These are reasons for not continuing or or even starting a relationship. Physical or mental abuse. This is interesting because everybody knows what physical abuse is, but there's a whole lot of sociopathic. You know, why? Well, oh, brother, use a big word there. There's a there's a lot of uh, mental abuse. Let's put it that way. What's more de devastating? It's, it's like it's like anything. You know, you take a person's mind. You got their body. You know, you got you got everything. Number five, harmful, spreading, or wasteful, or non-constructive use of money, time, and or materials. That's sort of like catch-all. Now, basic, um, basic, Mr. Neil Full his, his word is, is constructive. If you're not doing something constructive, if stuff is non-constructive, then we, uh, he has no use for it. Okay, the code has no use for something that's not constructive. Let's just put it that way. And finally, number six under this thing of uh, what are the six major reasons for not starting or continuing an intimate uh, a male male with female uh, mateship or marital status, marital arrangement. Sorry, number six, production of offspring without the approval of all persons involved in the so-called mateship or marital arrangement. Now, this is I'm gonna put this book here for a second. This whole do this this one here and uh, and go back to the first one again. All he's saying is like, you know, we accidentally get, you know, accidentally get knocked up or whatever it is. I say, look, in this in this let me put it this way, in this modern day and age, maybe we could have did that before, but this modern day and age, because it costs so much to raise a child, because there's so much danger and whatever out here, that you, it's like you got to have uh, people on both sides of 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 the parental. Um, Lineage, the paternal people and maternal people, whether they're whether people are married or not. I, I, look, I'm not gonna get it. Well, they say marital, so I guess this has to be married. Because in 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 in, in, uh, in a lot of societies, you're not just marrying two people; you're marrying, you know, the person's family and the other family. You know, like that. That's why you can never arrange marriage because they're marrying for reasons other than just two people are being a lover, having some children, offspring. You see, so. So I, so, no, I don't, I'm not saying I agree or disagree with any of this stuff. This is just our Sunday sermon, Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. and his thoughts 
well, his writings, and we sort of just talk about his thoughts, right? And by the way, if you want to hear Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. in his own words, which is always very good, and every Tuesday he comes on, uh, um, just look up the internet, compensatory concept, but go to his website, uh, producejustice.com. And then it's there. I usually uh, uh, listen to him on um, on Sunday mornings when I do my morning walk. Of course, it's two hours, you know, so I listen to that. It's my Sunday ritual then at night. I might do something from there or whatever, but I'm doing something here right now. So that's it. Now, now here's the one. I want to go back to the first one because I think this is very interesting because it gets... Um, uh, I, I think some... Well, there's, there might be some confusion around it. Let's put it that way. Number one, the number one reason for um, uh, of the six reasons, or six major reasons for not for not an OT, not starting or continuing an intimate relationship, is willful or deliberate or de uh, willful or deliberate sexual intercourse and or sexual play with a white person. During the existence of white supremacy uh, slash racism. Now, let's read it again. The willful, if you consciously, right, and deliberately uh, have sexual intercourse, endosexual play with a white person uh, during, during, uh, 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 well, with a white person, um, during, well, during the existence of white supremacy, racism, then, uh, that's a no-no. Now, here's a caveat there if you read it. And it's the same thing they say you shouldn't, you, you shouldn't I guess they call it race mixing or whatever happened. But that's not what they're saying, you know. Because he has this whole thing where um, a, 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 white, a white person uh, can't marry or can't be with a black person under the system of, of, of racism, white supremacy, because the white person is always on top. You see, they're, they're supreme. They're always, they're always there. So that, that, so, so the big reason. That's the big reason. So, but the cabinet, if you want to say marry a white person or you want to have sex with a white, whatever it is, you can. But you have to get rid of racism, which is white supremacy first. So we can have a world where white people and black people, everybody get together, but to do it, first you have to get rid of this system of racism, which is white supremacy. I call it angle race, but it's a bunch of anybody can buy into the system. Any 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 race or designation can buy into the system, uh, and support the system of white supremacy, and that's what we're trying to uh, get rid of. Because if you don't have that, then you have a system of justice. You know where uh, everyone is is guaranteed to be treated equally. You know, well, well again, well, the the uh, the guarantee that no harm comes in. Let's put it that way. The, the the golden rule. Let's put it that way. So there, so so there you have it. So the thing is that you can have a a a a, 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 a white um, counterpart, an intimate white counterpart, but it's just that it's not a, it's not an equal. It's an unfair uh, arrangement, because the white person is always going to be superior in a system of Anglo racist white supremacy. It's in the title. If you're in a system of racist white supremacy, then by definition, if you are not a white supremacist, a white supremacist, then, well, the system is not for you. Let's put it away, the system doesn't benefit you. So that's it for this Sunday sermon. Just to let you know, me being T from the Pattersons, taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect.